mean that Indonesia now already success that to as a leader, but not much, only some, yeah, only some. You can calculate that by your hands. But the one thing that we want to ask to you is how to trust that the woman, yeah, the woman work very easy to sell yourself to get easy money. We have some that in Bali, coming from other city in Indonesia, especially uh, I'm apologies to mayor of Surabaya because he's close there. They most go to Bali to get the easy work in Bali. That's the problem for me. By that way, I want to ask you how to trust them, all of them, to stop to work like that. Thank you. Well, I don't know how you would do this. Because it's a, um, it's a thing of this society. But one thing I see here, uh, men and there are women priests here. What in Bali can teach India is that there are women priests in Bali, which we don't have in India. Here, in, if you go to any Balinese temple, they have all, both men and women are priests, and they have equal status in the temples, which are still not there in India. This is something we can take from Bali to India. As far as women, trafficking of women and girls, this is an issue in India, in Nepal, and maybe in Mauritius also. This is an issue in Sri Lanka also. I suppose there is a issue of women in Sri Lanka also. Almost in all of Southeast Asia, we have this issue. And this issue, I think, has to be tackled from Child and Women's Development Department. Why they go for that? Is it because of economic reason? Or any other reason, a thorough research or study need to be done on this thing? I don't think they do it on choice. If they are doing it um, as a compulsion for livelihood, then it has to be immediately attended to. Uh, but if it is uh, happening as an insensitivity or some lack of cultural uh, training to them or whatever, education, those things I have, I'm not qualified to comment on it, but you will have to uh, put a study on that, you know? Someone who is uh, a sociologist who is qualified can make a research, present a paper. What we can do, we can give them some training, skills training, and some empowerment training, wherein they feel uh, honored and they honor their womanhood as well. Okay, that I already do that in Bali to that strategy you said just now, you mentioned this, that just now, we already do it. But I want to know how to trust their mind. Uh, yeah, how to transform how their to mind. How to transform their mind that we have, we are experts in that. We will, uh, you know, give you the know-how. We'll give the training, yeah? We can uh, train some people in, uh, uh, in the mental transformation program.